conscience, buddy. Listen to me, Wolf. You've given me no choice but to intervene. I realize you're in a bad state, but you can't give up on life. Shut up. Now, that's not very nice. These good guys may have been put in our way by divine providence. Uh, Bukar, Bukar! Uh, I'm back! Wait, can you see me? Yee-hoo! Now, listen. You gotta tell your brothers not to bring Bloody to the sheriff tomorrow. If he's dead, there would be nobody to put an end to this murderous madness. I know this man curls the old mustache, but stay calm, Bloody. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's some strong hooch. <laughs> Fellas, are we just gonna sit around drinking, or are we gonna react? Where the fuck did he come from? Now, we both agree this man's done horrible things, but listen to me, Wolf. I'd sooner get the pox than listen to any more of your bullshit. Besides the fact that it must be very painful, killing this man will not make you feel better and will not bring back your family. My family weren't the only ones killed by this man. I know Cliff is the worst thing we've ever met. But you're better than him, bloody. You gotta forgive yourself. If you cut off his head today, there will be three more growing back in his place. Easy, my gun chance is gonna feed my pockets. You're so full of it. Guys, Ben's absolutely right. Oh no, not him again. You go tell your master he owes us a pile of money. Bloody does not need me anymore. You gentlemen, on the other hand, you deliver men so they are killed for money. It is necessary to relieve your souls. Pay you to Ben Mo! Ben, it's just so hot for you to see him. Why don't just team him? Yeah, because we ain't gonna put up with you much longer, pal. You all have done such great work in the saloon. I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. In your, in your dreams, dreams, pal. pal.